stand by, Bobby. Three, two, one. Well, Roy, first of all, since I live here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I want to welcome you to our city. Thank you. My first area. visit here. Well, you know, I've been doing interviews for more years than you've been doing movies. Uh, I cannot believe that this is my very first time to interview you. So I, I wonder, is it just that that's the way it's happened, or uh, have you been sort of reluctant to do interviews? Well, I think it's a combination of both. I mean, I, I haven't done too many interviews except in the last maybe four years, five years. And I've never had a chance to come down this way. So that's why we haven't met. Well, so we're going to do something about that right now. Yes. After all that jazz, how many offers did you get to do dancing movies? <laughs> Well, not too many, because there's not too many dancing movies made, but I did get some offers to do some dancing plays, to do some musicals, which was very flattering and very nice. So I, I felt that kind of opened up a, a new area for me. Not that I'm such a great singer and dancer, but it would have been nice to do some. But I chose to do something else. I did a play. I did another play. Do you see a time, though, when you might want to do a Broadway musical? Oh, sure. Sure. Oh, I've been bitten now. Oh, you can't stop me now. This role, uh, of course, is a dramatic role and a romantic role, and the movie is a thriller, Still of the Night. And I get often... that? That was good. <laughs> you like <laughs> that? Yes, I like that. Um, but I, I wonder, Roy, um, so often people tend to try to say, well, I think a star is like this role that he did or that role that he did. And I couldn't help but think about it as I watched Still of the Night that maybe this role is closer to the real Roy Scheider than anything I've seen you in before. Am I right mm. or wrong? Hmm. Well, in some respects it is, in that it's, it's certainly a, a, a softer and more vulnerable. It's my softer and more vulnerable side. I had to use more of that than the, than the strong-jawed uh, heroic type. Uh, Maybe in some ways you do see some parts of me that you've never seen before. I think you're right. If you were going to write a description of yourself, the kind of person you are, or if I were going to write it, what would you want me to say? Compassionate. And I think that's what uh, the part is in the movie, isn't it? Yes. And what else would you want me to say about the kind of man Roy Scheider is? Is he introspective? Isn't it funny how those questions stop you cold? Because we don't ask them of ourselves very often. Is he what? Is he introspective? Very much. Very much. Uh, and always never as secure as he looks. Uh, I think he's uh, an achiever. Uh, he likes to work. Uh, curious. I think I have a good curiosity. Uh, I don't know. Happy? Yes. Optimistic. Let's say not necessarily happy. That's a rather fragile condition. But optimistic anyway. Yes. Are there some qualities that you wish you didn't have or... <laughs> Where do you want to start? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it up to you, Roy. Well, sure. You see, selfishness, vanity, uh, uh, you know, all, all, those, all those frailties. They're, they're, we, we all have them. Do and you have I, a temper? Yeah, I have a nasty mean temper but it takes a long time for it to come uh, I, I, I'm more inclined to give people the third fourth fifth and sixth chance but the sixth chance then it's right for the juggler and then I've had it uh, when I when I explode it's it's not very nice but it takes a lot to get me there I think I'm you know fairly well tempered what kinds of people do you like to be around funny funny people funny and, and imaginative and spontaneous and, uh, and uh, intelligent. Not necessarily uh, uh, book learning intelligence, but just human intelligence. The human, uh, people who are aware of the human condition and find it as amusing as I do. 
Who are some of your funny friends? My wife is my number one funny friend. And uh, then I have a few kind of all over the country, you know? I mean, like my, my agent, I think, is a funny man, Sam Cohen. Uh, my friend Joe Allen, the restaurateur, is a, in his own way, is a funny man. And then I have another friend who's a stuntman, I think is very, very funny. But I like people who, uh, who have a sense of humor about everything. Richard Dreyfus is a friend of yours, isn't Yes, he? there's another one. How is he doing since his accident? Uh, the last report I heard, he's very well. He's okay. It's going to be all right. Yes. And uh, do you know how it happened? I mean... I think it happened pretty much as we read it in, in the papers. Just I lost mean. control of the car? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're a person, I understand, who even before we had this scare and this tragic thing in Twilight Zone, that you're a person who sometimes said to a director, no, that stunt is too dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, That's something you learn. You have to learn that. I mean, it's, I mean young actors are very eager to, to please and be pleasing and to, and to make the film or the play, even in the play, you know, sword fighting and all that sort of thing, to make it real. It's, it's such an effort to make it real. When they forget that it's artifice we're dealing with, it's all make-believe. It's not real. And any time you cannot do something dangerous, don't do it. I mean, you, you don't have to prove your machismo uh, by doing those things. And you should avoid uh, dangerous things. I mean, accidents happen. Every stunt that is tried in a movie or tried on the stage is a risk. There's a risk involved. And the higher the risk, the more you have to consider whether you want to do it or not. I mean, it just makes, makes common sense, that's all. But, Roy, by standing your ground, did you ever feel that a director would hold that against you? Sure. They get very upset. They say, w w w what do you mean you're not going to do that? There's nothing dangerous about that. I said, look, I think it's dangerous. I think the window may come out, or this may collapse, or that may collapse. I'm not going to do it. So then they get, they get a stuntman to do it, or they cut it. And, 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 and that, and that upset, upset for the director lasts for about two hours. And he realizes that finally he didn't need it anyway and will do something else. And what he thinks of to do again is probably better than what he thought in the first place. But I mean, I'm just adamant about that. I, I mean, and I've done a lot of hairy things. I mean, for the picture I just finished, Blue Thunder, I did a lot of stunt flying. But I felt it was okay. I felt it was relatively safe to do it. And, uh, and so I did it. So what you're saying to other actors is to make their own evaluations. They have to. They have to. You have to take into consideration all the things that can go wrong. And if they start to add up against the things that can go right, don't do it. That's a good rule of thumb just for life in general, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Roy, I've had the interview with you. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank I feel you. like I've gotten to know you a little bit, and I look forward to uh, seeing you again. All right. We'll and do it again. Congratulations on a really superb performance in Star of the you. Night. Thank you very much. Thank you, Roy. Pleasure. Super interview. Just super. Yes. Now, um, we going in on. It's not doing? Do I need to repeat? Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Do you see a day when you will do a Broadway musical? Do you think someday you will do a Broadway musical? This role you played in Still of the Night, is it more like the real Roy Scheider? If you were going to write a description of Roy Scheider, the kind of person he is, what would you say? Do you have a bad temper? What kinds of people do you like to be around? Your friend, Richard Dreyfus. How is he doing following the accident? How is Richard Dreyfus doing since he had the accident? 
How did it happen? Just lost control of the car? You're an actor who has taken a stand on occasions and said, no, that stunt is too dangerous, I won't do it. Have directors ever held it against you because you refused to do a stunt? Um, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>